Can you blow up from here? Yeah, I'm happy with my this is a Flammenwerfer. It werfs Flammen. This is a Schweres Infanterie Geschutz. It's a Schweres Geschutz for Infanterie. Look at bird. Hit it once. The latest patch increased fire damage for everything. So that means flamethrowers, napalms, and incendiary nades are much stronger now. But it also affects us. What do I mean? Fire produced by allies and enemies alike that can damage you is also increased. However, we're not gonna tackle that today. We are here for the breaker incendiary. I just thought it was worth pointing out since it outright affects this weapon. The Breaker Incendiary is one of the weapons that you can get from the first premium war bond, and it has received a buff dispatch, increasing its damage per bullet to 20. Okay, so if you're new to Helldivers and you don't have this weapon yet, let me give you a quick rundown on what this weapon is. The Breaker Incendiary is a auto shotgun, but it only has two fire modes, that is burst and semi. So it has 25 bullets in a mag. And essentially, you're gonna be tapping a lot even though you're running burst because when you hold your fire button, it only shoots three times and you have to hold again. Oh, and it also has the incendiary trait, which essentially means that every bullet that you fire burns your enemies or allies, your pick. Against the Terminids, this weapon is just goddamn good. Rank and file units, they get shredded with ease, with it having decent ammo economy and easy handling. And with the increase of fire damage and its own damage per bullet buff, dealing with mediums was just made easier. Brood commanders get shredded, even the hive guards that crutch under medium armor to protect them get burnt. Well, if not, they get killed through their nooks and crannies. Spewers are also dealt with ease. The shriekers. They don't pose a big problem since you're essentially a flak cannon shooting the Royal Air Force. One stray bullet through the body, it kills them. The Stalkers, they don't stand a chance unless, you know, they spawn like crazy. And like every other primary in the game, heavies such as the Bile Titan and the Chargers, you really don't do much against them. So again, just stick to your anti-heavy assets against these guys. Against automatons, there's nothing really special going on for this shotgun. The fire damage doesn't seem to do much against the bots. And with it having just light armor penetration, it doesn't really destroy devastators and striders that easy. Which, in my opinion, is the greatest pain in the ass when playing against this faction. Also, the bullet spread of this weapon is just horrendous at range. So, it's more difficult to land shots when taking fights at a distance. The only unit that I've seen get shredded by this weapon is the Berserker. But that's with me mag dumping them. So I suggest just staying away from this weapon if playing against the bots. Unless of course you're doing like a niche build, some sort of pyro builds of some sort. But don't expect the gun to perform well against automatons. The recent buffs really made this weapon into a powerhouse against the bugs. So, watch out for some incoming flame trooping builds. I tried using this with a napalm stratagem and boy oh boy, it seemed powerful. Well, of course, with the spectacle of, you know, throwing flames at bugs, who doesn't love that? Well, I also died to a lot of some random fire damage from teammates, so do look out for that. I hope this video is informative for you and at least fun. And if you think you enjoyed the video, do leave a like and subscribe. You can check out my other video about the Jar 5 Dominator. Now, that's a weapon against the bots. And with that, I take my leave and keep on spreading freedom, Helldiver.